All right, let me see if this is better. Let me know if this is better, Lois. I don't know. May I turn it the other way? And I'm trying to see if it... Oh, it's better? Okay, so I'm thinking maybe over by the window is horrible. So on this side, it's better. Okay, all right. So, Key to J reveals. I hope everybody can come in now. They probably like, I'm tired of dealing with Key to J. You know, she done tried, she done tried, she done tried. <laughs> This is usually the side that I have it on, Lewis. So I'm back, y'all. I'm back, everybody. Hold on. So we got Key to J Reveals. Um, what's up, Freemore? Greetings. How are you? So Key to J Reveals, y'all. I'm standing up even, okay? Get my little exercise in, right? So thank you guys for inviting people. I appreciate it. Um, like I said, I, I did the show... Months ago, I took a break from Periscope um, to, to do some other things, and I'm still venturing. I'm still doing. Get the hula hoop. Why? I'll do the hula hoop for another day, okay? i do the hula hoop another day. I do have some hula hoop uh, material on my Key to J page. If you guys want to go to my Key to J page, it's down in, in the bio, okay, of of this, of, of the... um profile go to the profile and you'll see the it, you'll see the uh key to j facebook page link and you can go there and make sure you guys add yourselves to that page right so today's topic is about women being oppressed okay you know us women we deal with a lot of things we deal with not saying that the men i'm not discrediting you guys but i do feel like women are oppressed by other women and we're also oppressed by men okay because i feel like a lot of times men take their frustrations out and not every man okay but they take their frustrations out on women hey super duper thank you for inviting um they take their frustrations out on women and i find that some guys are punks when it comes to them talking to men the other men, the way that they talk to women. You know, I've seen guys, even myself, even like supervisors. If you Have you ever had a, a, a supervisor that would talk to a woman a certain way, but he wasn't as assertive with those guys that he worked with? Have you ever had a, a guy in your life that he'll talk to you a certain kind of way, but he could never express himself to somebody that did him wrong? Have you ever had those people in your life? Have you ever had a female, a woman, that we, women that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? Even the ones that we bypass, maybe she's a customer service clerk or whatever. Those types of women, okay? Hey, what's up, Austin? How you doing? Um, even those women, like, I feel like we're oppressed by women and men. You know, people tend to talk to us any kind of way. They feel like, you know, they can do whatever and say whatever to us. Hey, what's up, SD? How are you? So they feel they can say and do whatever. Now, you guys want to call in, you can call in. Remember, we were talking about earlier the double standard that some people have with women. There's a double standard. Remember, gay men, gay men can be loud. Girl, you better shut your mouth. Girl, you be, you this, you that, you this, you that. Girl, please. But then when we do it, what's up, Bobs? When we do it, as women, we're loud. We're too loud. We're obnoxious. Look at her. Why she act like that? But when your homeboy that's gay act like that, two snaps and a twirl, it's all good. He get he's accepted. But other women, some of you some women can't stand for other women to act a certain way. Okay? Men on film. <laughs> Two snaps in a twirl. Okay? Now let me Caller, how are you? Are you calling into the Key to J Reveal show? Yes, I am. 
Hello? Hi. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you guys hear the caller? Can you announce who you are? Uh, it, it's just me, Tita. Okay, so who What's is just me? I know who it is, but they don't know. <laughs> well, they, let that be a mystery to them. Oh, Lord. Well, anyway, well, this is Lewis. Uh, I am Lewis, okay? So go ahead, Lewis. What, what do you want to add to this? Well, what I was saying has been my observation, you know, from uh, reading and studying and seeing what's going on, that uh, a lot of a lot of problems that we have as African Americans, or Africans in America, or melanated people, whatever we want to call ourselves, is that from slavery, that we still carry a lot of the traits that we picked up through our slavery. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the black male has always been emasculated since since the white folks got here because we was already here. And who does he take it out on? Those are closest to him, those who, you know, who's around him. He can't oppress his oppressor, so who does he oppress? He oppresses his woman. He oppresses his children. He oppresses, you know, the ones that are involved in his life. And so a lot of uh, the oppression that women receive from men is a direct result of what took place during slavery. Now, um, it's, you know, there's been several studies on it, and, and it's sad because people haven't taken the time out to question, why do we act like that? Right. You follow me? Why, why do we, why do, we do, do those things? And, and, if you, and if you look and observe, you can change your behavior because you have the information now. See, before the internet, we didn't have it. Well, if you had the information, you had to be around the people. But every information is everywhere now. Exactly. You don't have to keep continuing act, acting like your granddaddy and your great granddaddy acting. Exactly. Those are the things to him, and those are the things that we're instilling him. And so that's why we, as a people, we need to open up our minds and, and try to change the wrongs that have been done to us and the wrongs that we're doing. Because you, you know. You're not right when you treat your, your lady right. You call her your woman. You call her your queen that you're supposed to protect and guide and respect. And you're not doing it. Right. And, you know, you know if you can't, you can't, at the end of the day, you can't say that what you did or what you were doing was right. And you know it wasn't right. But if you sit down and think of, and the sad thing, some of us don't know that it's not right. Right. And that's where, you know, that's where a lot of this stuff comes from. And, uh, you know, the, 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 and, it, and it's sad. It's sad. Like I, I, like, I apologize to a lot of black women for the wrongs that the black men have done. And it's, a lot of it's their fault, but a lot of it isn't their fault because they have been, it has been done to them and they act a certain way and they don't even know why they act like that. Exactly. And do you feel like a lot of them don't want to take the time out to correct the behavior that's already been uh, put out there? Yeah, of course, because they, they, first of all, they don't know. A lot of guys don't know. And then those who do know, they don't want to be, look, be looked upon as weak or soft or indifferent uh, to those that are around them and how they're dealing with their lady. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. and you know they continue to, the wrong behavior. They continue the bad behavior. Because I definitely feel like it's a lot of that that goes on. Um, I felt that way even with with guys, guys that sometimes I've dated, you know, um, and maybe just guys that I've worked with. You know, I can definitely feel that there's a difference in how they speak to men versus how they speak to, to women. So, you know, and even, even sometimes telling us what, you know, if you're giving us, give, giving us, um, you know, you're telling us what you would like us to do as leaders, you know, and it's just the way that you, you, you bring it forward to us. It doesn't come off properly. And, and then I feel like women have to mask themselves. And a lot of women become, uh, masculine, because of that, you know, we, we become more masculine because of what we have to deal with, with a lot of men, you know, in the workforce, you know, guys may think that it's easy for us, but when we get to work, a lot of times we have to deal with a whole lot of, you know, sit down, shut up kind of behavior. 
don't talk. Right, right. You know, don't talk until right. I'm talking to you kind of thing. And I feel like, you know, a lot of that is brushed under the rug instead of dealt with. And somebody mentioned on here, um, and you can, I would like for you to just say if you're still on here, they said it seems like daddy issues. You know, it seems like that there's, it's daddy, because we both deal with, you know, not having our mom or our father, or you could have a father or a mother that's not around enough. Maybe they're still together, but you're seeing some awkward behavior in the household. So just because a person's mother and father's together doesn't mean that that makes a adequate child. Correct. You know, you can, all, you can still have bad behavior if your mother and your father is still together in the household. Yeah, cause Dr. DeGuerre, she 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 lays it out in her book, uh, um, and, and explains it to us. Gives a, a big breakdown, and then we still are are suffering uh, post traumatic stress of slavery. Mm -hmm. And I know people saw oh, that that happened uh, in the workplace. Okay, so Mr. Un yeah. Unla I'm sorry, Lewis. Um, Mr. Unlabel said uh, a lot of women have a strong presence in the workplace. And that goes back on to what you just said, is that they have to, you know, they have to put on their armor and they yeah. almost have to turn into men. Exactly. To, uh, relate, to relate to other men. And a lot of times it's, it's other black men. It's not necessarily, uh, you know, the other people. It's, it's just within their race, and it happens in the home. Right, right. It happens right. in the home. Oh, and a lot don't of let women them be militant. On... Lord have mercy. That adds more fuel to the fire. Right. You have a lot of women taking on, you know, the, the role or the position of the leader of the household, and, and you know, it's, it's, it's sad. It's sad. It's sad. And so when it comes to dealing with relationships or dealing with other people, you know, they come, it's, it's like, they, you know, guys talking to another man. Right. And right. they have no, especially the guys that aren't in tune, they have no respect for a woman who who's, like you say, is loud or or exerts herself or who takes, takes that position. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and, it, and it shouldn't even have to be like that. It shouldn't right. have to be like that. But, uh, but that's how it is. And a lot of that, like I said, a lot of that comes from, what we went through as Africans and slavery. Right. You definitely have to fight. And then, you know, as I was saying before, dealing with other women. And I know some guys, you guys see that. You see how women bicker amongst each other. The stuff that we, you know, have to deal with amongst each other. It's acceptable for gay men to be a certain way and, you know, their characteristics to flow and other women see that and laugh and, you know, it in happy go lucky. But when we as women flaunt that with our feminine estrogen, you know, it, it seems to be that that is a problem. And I, I think maybe that could be a little bit of jealousy. You yeah, know, it, it jealousy could, hey, it has a lot to do with self hate because they're not proud or not happy to see another woman enjoying her glow and enjoying her shine. Because they, they they can't. They don't know how. And so that's where the jealousy and the hate comes in as far as, why don't she be quiet? Why is she acting like, why she got to do that? This, that, and another. And it's like, instead of embracing them and supporting them, they hate on them. Right, right. I was talking to a young lady today, and she was saying that she sees a lot of that at her job. And she was also saying that she has to be hard at work because people will try her. She said, we have a lot of gay men at work, and yeah, it's very acceptable, you know, for gay men to flaunt and, you know, uh, be loud and, you know, nothing against gays. I Like I said, I have friends that are gay, and I see that women love being around gay men, and I think because, you know, they accept that behavior because it's no competition, but honey, I'm here to tell you, gay men don't really like straight, I'm not going to say they don't like straight women, but they are learning from you, honey. They are learning from women how to be feminine. They are around you to see how, you know, you act when you're with a man or how men look at you and what they're looking at. So they're observing the woman, you know, and that's a lot of reasons, a lot of times that they are around a lot of women. But honestly, they don't really care for straight. They don't really care for women because they want some of the men that we have. 
probably know about that. You, I mean, I'm not saying that you know, but I'm just saying I'm speaking out that this is how it is, and I know that this is why you know we're not we're not protecting ourselves. Then you don't understand that undercover this guy is 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 liking your man because you know it is what it is. You you felt as though you were safe. But it's nothing, you know, even men with the wigs and stuff on. I was listening to Coco yesterday. Um, what's her name? Uh, she's a comedian. I posted on my Instagram page. But if you guys could go to the comedy uh, link, the comedy link that's in the uh, on the IG page, she's a, a female comedian. And the guy was asking her, he was interviewing her. He said, what do you feel? How do you feel about, you know, he was talking about comedians that's online. But I'm not going to touch on that part. How do you feel about guys that are putting on wigs just to be famous? You know, and, and to me, it seems as if women are cheering a lot of that on. You know, I see a lot of women cheering on the sh supposedly straight guy with the wig on. But if we, like she said, if we were to act masculine okay. like them, then it would be a whole different type of ball game. It, it wouldn't wouldn't be it wouldn't be praised it wouldn't be praised as much as the guy with the with the wig on acting like a femme it wouldn't be praised i doubt if women could act could do the things that they do without being uh looked at totally differently you know we'll be looking down upon yes but 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 as she said it's t I said this on scope. I said it's tiring. I'm tired of seeing guys trying to make it in Hollywood by putting on wigs and trying to be women. You know, but it's cheered. Every all the women put on a wig. Yes, look at him. He's so funny. But he's portraying how some of you act. These guys are portraying you guys. And I'm um, Shanae and them. It was cool. But now it's getting a bit out of hand, you know, and I'm, this is not really here what, what, what I'm here to talk about, but I'm, I'm expressing myself because I see a lot of oppression and I think meditation definitely helps. Okay. Get y'all some, get, get you guys some, uh, some stones. Hey, Greg, how are you? Get you guys some stones, some crystals, put them around your bed, put them under your pillow, meditate. Get all that, that that mentality that you have. Get that out of you. It's it's it's, it's destroying the community. It really is. And then a, and, and another thing, watching all these shows, Atlanta Housewives. I know y'all like y'all shows, Atlanta. I used to watch it. I watch it. Atlanta Housewives fighting. You know, uh, looking at at. Those whatever rolling what what is it called? Atlanta Housewives. Uh what's the other one? Um where they used to have New York Housewives where everybody was supposed to been dealing with somebody that was either in sports, that was a ball player, basketball wives, all of those shows that you're putting you're putting that stuff in your your subconscious mind. And it it I disconnected my cable because that <laughs> mess. But that hurts, that, that's hurting us too. That's hurting women. Because now you're looking at this, it's in your conscious mind, and you're looking at it every single, what, every week? Looking at women fighting, bicker amongst each other. Do you know that that is harming us as women? We're looking at each other, sizing each other up for whatever reason, you know, I just saw a preview yesterday, or was it today? All over the timeline, Candy crying about something. I'm like, come on now, are you serious? So the back and forth, the fighting, the somebody sleeping with somebody's husband, you know, uh, the, the cattiness is never, that's never going to end because we're constantly root, you know, we're cheering that stuff on. Yeah, I got to see this. I got to see that. I don't even watch television. You know what I'm, why y'all so busy watching that stuff? You know what? You missing out on being an entrepreneur. You missing out on business stuff that you could be learning. You missing out on some ideal things that you could be, you know, your brain could be taking in. 
You could use those things. You, we could definitely use those things. You know, but not Atlanta Housewives, not all the fighting and bickering. You know, we need to be learning some edu... And I'm not talking about school education. Knowledge. Knowledge. Stop all the fighting. You know, maybe some of us can lose a little bit of... And, 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 and people got mad at Tyrese for talking about women with hair, you know, down their back. Life education, knowledge, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Things that can help us instead of destroying us. Because the road that I see a lot of us going up is horrible. It's horrible. We can't even help somebody because we so busy, you know, I ain't helping that person. I ain't doing this. They can help themselves. But guess what? Especially the melanin community. The melanin community is... We're doomed because we don't want to support nobody. We want to we want to look and watch and what's what handbag somebody got. Okay, not everybody, but y'all worrying about the handbag somebody carrying, what shoes somebody got on. We too busy being consumers. We too busy spending money. You know, we spending money. We not making money. Spend, spend, spend. That's all we want to do. We want to look at TV to see what dress somebody wearing. You know, which is ridiculous. What kind of per Peruvian hair, you know, somebody has in. You know, who's the new hairstylist that can do my hair? You know what? I walk around with my hair natural every day. And I get compliments all the time. Guys, so if you think that because you're not wearing your hair natural... You know, um, that men aren't going to talk to you. You got to believe in yourself. Believe, and I'm not here to preach to nobody. I'm just saying that this is, these are the things that I see. <laughs> they misguided. A lot of people are. But when we talk like this, folks don't want to hear it, you know. But if I was fighting on here, then it would be a different story. If I was fighting or fussing with somebody, you know, everybody would be on here everybody but when we talk about something that i feel like that can help us that can help guide us you know that can get us to a higher you know higher level we don't want to talk about that you know everybody is somewhere else where the cattiness is going on and that's why we can't make no money do y'all see a lot of caucasians over there entertaining that stuff hell no I can guarantee you, you probably won't. Because when I worked with a lot of Caucasians, look, and I know, Navi, you probably about to say, nah, they not Caucasian, but I'm just saying, your opinions. When I worked with a lot of them, they didn't know anything. Hey, Sugar, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. They didn't know anything about any of the shows that was on television. None of them. None of the shows. They didn't know anything. You can name Honey Boo Boo. They would be looking up there. Who is Honey Boo Boo? You know why? Because they, they trying to make money. And, and, and saving and putting stuff away. And, and traveling with their kids. And doing all that kind of stuff. They ain't got time for that. We waste a lot of time. We waste too much. Thank you so much. We waste so much time bickering and and worrying about what somebody got on and not supporting people and you know it's just if we put all that power what and that's power because energy if we put all that into the positive of the community we will have so much we'd be so rich we'd be so rich y'all we will be so rich, I'm telling you. And it's 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 a loving like I love my people. I love, you know, I love anybody that 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 treat us right, okay? Anybody. You I love everybody. But if you disrespectful, you get disrespected. That's how I look at it. You get disrespected when you start disrespecting. And that goes for anybody. It's not even about race. Cuz I've seen people treat I've seen, now, don't get me wrong, Europeans, they they got their battles of sleeping with somebody's husband. I worked with women that was sleeping with somebody's husband, okay? I worked with women that slept with somebody's husband. 
So, I, hey, I would be lying, it, but it's a different kind of way that things are done. So we got to we gotta be rich. We got, and I'm not saying you got to stop watching the shows. That's not what I'm, I'm here to do. I'm just saying, let's put more energy into being positive to one another. You know, sizing each other up. You gritting on somebody. You trying to take somebody's man. You know, and I can tell you guys, I'm going to say this. By being on Periscope, being on Periscope social media, it's a lot of lonely women out here. A lot of, lo you get to find out about a lot of lonely women. Women, it's a lot of lonely, we need companionship. But just don't go out of your way to try to take somebody else's man or, you know, or woman. You know, that, 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 that's not willing to go. That's not willing to go. We too busy spending time doing nonsense. He said, where they at? Where the lonely women at? On social media. They everywhere. They in the bar. They, you know, they at the gym. You know, and men too. But men, we enter, we, 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 we're different. We're, we, we, we're different. We're not the same. You know, women, we both need companions. We both need it. Men and women, we both need a companion. But we don't have to stab each other in the back just to have it. Because guess what? Even if that man, if that man did willingly leave and he wasn't ready to leave, don't try to force him because it's not going to work. And you already know getting into the situation that it wasn't going to work. But sometimes we lead with the wrong thing as well. We think we leading what down here. Okay? We think we leading down there. We leading with down there, but guess what? All women got look, all women got a, a for JJ. All women got one. And they they got a thing called lubrication that can help out the 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 uh <laughs> I don't need to go that go that far, but they got something that's gonna help that out. Okay, even if he say it's too dry, they got something that can help that out. We won't put up with crap anymore because we don't have to. Yeah, and but I'm saying, you know what? We all need companionship, and I think that in our community, that's what we're missing. We're missing the companionship. You know, we you know even if it's just going out with each other, you need to talk to a man, or if you're into women, or you into men, you know, uh, whatever way you go, you know, we still need somebody that we can talk to. We still need to feel that you know that that manly, that masculine. We need to touch. We need we. I look. I done did so many scopes. When I done did so many scopes, I even talked about the. Uh, the 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 ding -a -ling, okay? I even talked about the the parts of it that um helps the body, helps a healthy body. If you look up all of that stuff, it helps a healthy body. The same thing with your for JJ. It helps a health. It makes a healthy body. Then why don't answer, old oh boy? Who is old boy? Who is old boy? <laughs> We going somewhere else with this, Lewis. I don't know who old boy's text is. Did anybody want to call in? Because the number, if you want to call in, the number is listed on the um on the screen. So if you want to call in, if you have something to say to add to it, the security guard at the stadium, I ain't messing with him. He got too many daggone kids. He got too many kids. I don't look. I'm already. I'm look. Listen. I don't need somebody that's been married twice and have nine kids. Okay. I haven't even been married once. So why do I need to even put myself in a situation? I mean, I could go out to dinner with him. I could. I could all day. Who you rooting for? You know, I could go all day. That ain't gonna happen, free more. You know that ain't gonna happen. But anyway, I, I done long. I'm long gone. I done giddy up the way from that. You know, I'm I'm on a whole nother path, a whole a whole nother path. You know, that's why I say it's good 
to take time for yourself. See, I'm 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 one of those people. I've always had relationships. I've always had relationships. I really have to I mean every now and again you might yeah in between you want to you know get it in. He said wishful thinking. Every now and again you want to get it in, but when you take time out for yourself and you ain't rushing to get into nothing and you just chilling, things will happen. I ain't saying I'm I'm all, you know, got everything together. No, I don't. We're nobody's perfect. None. We still gonna make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? We all make them. So I'm not gonna sit up here and make it seem like I'm perfect. To no no, I'm not. To no avail, I'm I'm not perfect at all. Okay? So I don't want nobody to think that I'm putting folks down and no, I'm not. I'm talking about all of us. We all have issues. You know, we all have things that we're battling. We all have flaws. So if I'd be saying that, I would be lying. But I just want us to be able to work together. You know, um, stop just being a consumer. You know, stop, stop oppressing each other. You know, that goes for men and women. You know, it, we got to learn to love each other. We have to. People in general, look, we're beings, okay? We are beings. We need to learn to love each other. Stop with the hate. The hate, the hate is not going to get us anywhere. All these fight videos people used to put up, man, I, I got so sick and tired of freaking fight videos that people want to share. They want to share the worst video to say, look at this. Look at this. Look what I came across. I'm the first one that came across this video. And I want to share with everybody. So it's like you trying to beat everybody to the punch of a daggone a reckless video. Why? Why not share something more positive? Why not? And it be grown folk. It be grown. The thing that kills me, it be grown people. It be people in their 40s and 50s sharing stuff like that. When I see the name, I be like, oh my gosh. I can't believe they shared this. But I can't control them at all. I can only control myself. I see women all the time. <clears throat> like I said, when I post stuff, you start seeing other women trying to post similar stuff. Then they see you posting. It's like, really? You wasn't even posting stuff like that. Now all of a sudden, you see down your timeline, all the women that's your friend, everybody trying to outdo you. <laughs> I'm a trendsetter. I guess I am. I guess I am. You know, I just see, I just see it. And I'm woke. I mean, my third eye, my third eye tells me, you know, look at this. My, I be having conversations with myself, okay? And that's all right. Lewis, be quiet. I have conversations. I be like, look at this third eye. You see this? You, you see this third eye? Third eye be like, I'm looking right at it. We woke though. We already know that everybody desires certain people <laughs> I do answer myself and you know what yourself is the best person to talk to because yourself will get you can get you out of major trouble ain't nothing wrong with that okay ain't nothing wrong with that your yourself can get you out of major stuff when you talk to yourself and you say self I don't know if I should do this or not. I don't know if I should say this or not. Yourself will tell you, nah, don't, don't do that. Nah, don't, 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 don't worry about that. By myself, me. You have to. You have to. You have to. And, and that's how you know you are one within yourself. When you can talk. And I ain't talking about Lewis walking around like, man, she told me she was going to. She, she, she said she was going to wash my clothes. I'm not talking about like that. I don't talk to myself that way. I do have uh, conductive conversations 
with myself. You like my hat? <laughs> Leave my hat alone, Romello. I I do. I have a upstanding conversations with myself. My my conversations go a little bit something like this, girl. I can't believe I can't believe that, but it's gonna be all right. You know you 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 shouldn't have did that though, right? Yeah, I shouldn't have did it. I I know I shouldn't have did it, but I wanted to wait. That's how my conversations go, okay? That's how mine go. It don't be like he ain't he ain't he ain't taking care of nothing. He ain't. I don't walk around like a witch, but I can have constructive conversations, okay? I can do that. And I think a lot of us need to have more of those. We need to have constructive conversations with ourselves. What do Kiki say? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what Kiki says. Oh my gosh. I say, pro oh, constructive. <laughs> But you know, that's it, that's all. You know, that's it, that's all. I might bring out a character or two, okay? And it ain't nothing wrong with that. Because you know what a con is. Uh, yeah, okay, I know what a con is. I, I know, prostructive, yes. Um, But that's cool. You know, however, hey, E, you finally got in. Yes, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, and it's all in, it is all in the words that we use. Of course, words are that's energy as well. You know what I'm saying? The realm that we in, you know, that's the energy, the vortex. It creates certain things, the vibrations and the frequencies. I'm down, brother. I's down. I know all about all of that stuff. Okay, I know about all that stuff. But guess what? I'm always trying to pick up something new because sometimes you missing things sometimes you missing things sometimes we missing things i sometimes have to look at stuff quite a few times because i know if i listen to it multiple times i'm going to find something new i'm going to pick something new out of it Something new is going to come out of if I listen to a new video. This video that I've listened to for quite a few, quite uh, multiple times, okay? I'm going to pick up something. But I forget easily too. I forget stuff easily sometimes. It's so much sometimes it's going through my brain that, you know, my high power is sending me messages that I'm trying to pick, I'm trying to keep up with everything, everything so sometimes it's hard so we don't even know sometimes how we know stuff i don't know how i know stuff sometimes i really don't i don't know how i know how i know stuff i pick up stuff just out of thin air messages are being sent to sent to me all the time messages you ever notice sometimes you can't sleep you know it's in your DNA. Because I know I've been here before. I know I've been here. Do some of you guys think you've been here before? You, you, you guys know you've been here before? You guys know that some of you have been here before? Some people haven't. Some people's souls have been here before. Okay? Reincarnated. Reincarnated because... You come across things that you've never, ever seen, and the message is right there. I mean, I'm, that's, a, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother topic. But we're going to talk about some great topics. Did anybody else want to call in before we end this scope? Because I thought that this was magnificent, and the replay is going to be played over and over and over. I'm just putting that in the universe, y'all. I always have the answers to stuff. I never... Thank you! Me, exactly! That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Things that I've never, ever heard or seen, I know. And we ain't talking about a math equation. We ain't talking about that kind of stuff. I'm talking about inform like information. Because you might not be good in math. You might not be good in reading. You might not be good in some things. But a lot of stuff comes natural. 
That's why I say it's not good for us to beat up on some people that don't know how to read. I pe I treat everybody. I treat everybody the same. Because because one person don't know something don't mean that they can't pick it up in a different kind of way. Don't mean that they can't just because somebody mispronounce a word and somebody quick to correct them all the time don't mean that they don't have other information for you. So it's a lot of stuff out here. P people learn differently. People have different information stored in them. You'd be surprised what people know. Well, let me stop saying people, but beings, what we know. You'd be surprised. They are purposely ignoring facts. Yeah, but I'm saying you, you got folks that will talk about somebody because they don't have... Listen, when I worked in HR... When I worked in HR, I had to teach guys in maintenance how to do a timesheet on the computer, okay? Now, the lady that was um the, the deputy of, the, of my department, she made it seem like these guys couldn't do anything. I mean, I had to tell her. I said, doesn't mean that they don't know what's going on. You know, just because a person can't read doesn't mean that you got to hover all over them and try to you know, make sure they understand. Because a, a lot of people can pick up stuff. It doesn't mean because you can't read, you can't pick up something. You know, and when I taught that class, some of them caught on and some couldn't read. And some of them, their attention span was just a little bit, you know, because sometimes as you get a little older, you know, you know, your attention span is just not what it used to be. So, some guys just gave up on like, man, I ain't got time for this. They want to go do their work. They use, they love what they do. So they like, why am I here? <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm just saying like, you got folks. Hey, Steve, how are you? You have folks that will put other people down because they don't have a degree. They don't have a, listen, it's a lot of people out here that don't have a diploma. You hear me? Or GED, but they can speak. And they can tell you what's on their mind and they can kick knowledge to you. So we got to stop thinking because we don't have a goddamn on degree. People don't have a, a diploma. It's just a piece of paper. That's it that you paying for. And, and college now is about to be free everywhere because people not going to school like they used to. So they get ready to make school free. And then people about to be getting certifications now. So it's about to be a whole different world. It's a whole different wave going on right now. People are so lost. They don't, people don't know what to do. Funding on enslavement. Exactly. So, you know, they're preparing you to be enslaved for the rest of your daggone life. That's all a college degree is. That's all it is. So you paying off somebody for the rest of your life. And let's not even talk about HBCUs. Because we, we done talked about HBCUs. But folks feel like, okay, they don't even, some people don't even know about how, how they were founded. The same people you fighting today. Which Republicans were a little bit different back then. Okay. So I'm just saying. <laughs> so you know. That's a whole that's a whole different topic. But we're going to save those topics for another day. You know. So we don't go into. But let's stop oppressing each other. Men. Women. You know. Stop putting each other down. What about the new black codes for the youth? Missouri. If they fight. It's a felony. That's crazy. And I haven't even heard that, but that's crazy. That's crazy. Tell me, I don't need no... You don't need a degree. Do you know that... Listen, this is what I'm telling you. That's why I say we're missing information. We're missing stuff. Listen, do you know that big companies are starting to remove education requirements from their applications? Do you know that? Do you know big companies are, are removing education requirements? What you mean?
mean that's for them. I mean, regardless who it's for, they're removing it. It's fighting in school. I mean, I'm just saying they're removing it. They're removing it. So they're removing, they're removing education requirements. Um, we got to, we, we, you know, we got to stop crying about everything and we got to make some moves. I feel like we could be rich if we put enough power into and stop just consuming everything and, and, and wear your old clothes. You can fit into your old clothes. You don't need to keep buying new clothes all the time. You don't need to keep buying new clothes. You don't need to be buying big handbags to carry nothing in. Go, You can go to TJ Maxx, get your handbag for 20 bucks, $30. People carrying around handbags that $13,000. Ain't got but a dollar in it. I remember one of my girlfriends used to carry around her handbag, but she ain't never had no money to get in nowhere. Tell my I paid for this Fendi bag. Okay. I paid for this Fendi bag. We do need to stop getting so far in debt. It's crazy. You you carrying around a purse. You don't even have $20. You at the door with a a thousand dollar bag asking somebody, can they give you $20 to get inside? And then people so desperately want, I got to get me a Benz. I got to get me a Benz. I was listening to, um, what's his name? Ocho Cinco. Remember y'all showed the video of Ocho Cinco? And he was saying he'd take women to McDonald's. Well, he had a whole new video. You mean to tell me I can get a shot? Nope. I can't. No, you can. I'm not saying don't get sharp. I'm just saying you don't have to spend all this money. I know. I don't even understand why I'm explaining to Lewis. I already know Lewis is being a fool. But anyway, um, Ocho Cinco said, my jewelry was fake. I had cubic zirconia earrings on. That's what he said. He said, my jewelry, that was fake. I didn't have real jewelry. He said he was able to save money because he wasn't trying to be like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? He was faking the funk. Now, hold on. Fake it to make it. Why, why, why is that a big problem that people have when you say you fake it to make it, right? Fake it to make it is not, it's supposed to be reversed of what it sounds like, right? Fake it to make it actually means your mindset is already there. So you already ready. So when it's time for you to 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 uh to get to where you're trying to be, you already there. I don't see nothing wrong with fake it to make it. I don't see nothing wrong with it because it's all mental. It don't mean you gotta spend money like like everybody's spending, but this prime example of what he said. He said, I I had fake jewelry. Nobody knew his jewelry was fake. Just like when people put pictures up on Instagram and, and Facebook. They, you know, you, you taking a picture next to a car. You didn't say that that was your car. You just posting it like, this a nice car. I'm just, you know, hey, it could be Photoshop. But I'm liking this car right here. So why you, and this, and this might be your old dear house. Look, what's his name? Uh, 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 Grant Cardone said, I used to go to a house with no money and I knew that I wanted a house like that. He said, I went to, he said, I went to a house and looked at a house. I didn't even have the money to get the house. He said, I eventually was able to get me a house just like that. I don't know if it was the same house. I think it was, I think it was, he eventually moved into that house because he went to go check that house out with no money. He didn't have no money to get the house. That's another fake it till you make it. You going, you going to this place because you, you, you speaking it into your realm, right? What about the, um, you speaking it into 
You speaking it. You speaking it into your realm. So the things that, that like I said, the frequencies, the frequencies, we got the frequencies and the vibrations. It's all universal. You got to choose what you want to do. What we put out in the universe. How we act on it. But we got to get rid of that though. You know, it's why it is white supremacy, but you know what? We can't keep blaming everybody. We going through everything, but we got to make ourselves rich. You, I don't use the word broke. I don't use that word. You putting that word into the universe. You putting that word into the universe. I refuse to say that I'm broke. I refuse that. I rebuke. We got to stop working. We got to stop working for other people's dreams. Exactly. And put your own in, 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 put, hey, hit, put, put the, push the pedal to the metal. Push the pedal to the metal for your own dream. It ain't nothing wrong with helping people out, but sometimes you got to come back and get people. Sometimes you got to come back and give, and you definitely take care of the people that that been with you the whole time. Not the fake and the phonies, but the ones that have been with you. The ones that's with you. You make sure that you are, um, you make sure that you are, um, taking care of those people. I.E. Kevin Hart, taking care of his people that's been with him. You know what I'm saying? Not the fake and phonies. You got to learn how to smell the fake and phonies. Sometimes the fake and phonies around us for too long. We got to start getting rid of them. We got to get rid of them. We got to have our crystals in our hands. <coughs> letting them know, hey, we got we to gotta get them out of here. All these fake and phonies, show yourself. People need to show themselves. Seriously. So, on that note, I'm glad we had a great talk on oppression. <coughs> now I'm coughing. I don't know why. But um, if you guys want to call in, the number is in on the topic. If, if anybody want to add to this, you could call in right now before we end the scope. Um, they're around smiling while trying up. For who? Who you talking about, G? Who you talking about? How? Huh? I didn't. I don't. I know you. You mistyped something, so I don't know what you're. I don't know what you're asking or what you're typing. How I hear the show. Good Sammy. So if you guys have topics, you can always email me. Um, the email is in the link is in the profile to exist in nature media. You can email me. We got some great stuff going that's gonna be going on, you guys. I promise you, I got stuff that's gonna be happening. Okay, I'm not talking about it, I'm just doing it. What's on tonight? What's the name of it? What show? Is it a website? Oh, it, do I have a web? Oh, it's my. It's gonna be on YouTube. I'm gonna upload this video to YouTube, and um, if you guys wanna comment on the video on YouTube, the link is in the profile. The link is in the profile on Periscope, so you'll see my YouTube link there. Um, you'll also see the website link. The website link is um. Also in the profile. Oh, the number. The number is on the... No, the number's on the screen. If you go to... Okay, so the number's 301. 301. You're going to remember this. 301-917-7324. If you want to call in, you can call in. You can add, you know, what you want to add to it. Thank you, sugar. I appreciate that. So 301, and that's my business line, y'all. That's my business line. So business line, call in. Um, if you want to add something to it, 
you know, you're welcome to do so. This is a, a at will show and um you don't see you don't need all microphones and stuff like that. What 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 they we don't need microphones. No, it's it this is on Periscope, Periscope TV. This is on Periscope TV and then this is going to be uploaded to YouTube. So, that's all this is. So, it, but but you will hear who like Lewis when he called in, you'll hear that on YouTube when he called in and we had the conversation. So whoever calls in, you will people will hear you talking on YouTube. <clears throat> so, you know, see you don't need all that stuff, all that gadgets and you know. I would have called in early. Call in now. Call in now. What you want to talk about? <laughs> yeah, call in so we can hear your voice. Hurry up before the phone go dead. We still, we live. We live. y'all want to call in, come on and call in. Just introduce yourself when you call in and um, speak your mind. Hey. While I... <laughs> I got the instrumental jams going on. Hey. Are you going to call in G or not? Is anyone calling in? If not, then I'm going to end the scope and I'll be back tomorrow if... You have a topic that you want to talk about? Just a minute. Let me turn my phone on. It was on charge. Okay, cool. Cool. So we're going to give you a minute. I'm talking. I'm, I'm just going to talk. You can still call in while I'm talking. Um, If you have a topic, you can call your topic in. Uh, I mean, call your topic in. You can send your topic to existinature at yahoo.com. Um, we will look at the topic and then see how, you know, if we need to rephrase it or anything like that. And, and, and then it will be our next topic that we'll talk. It depends on how many we get, you know. I just felt like to start off, <clears throat> this was a great, great topic to start off with, you know. Because, like I said, I was doing these shows like months ago. But I stopped. I got a little, like, lazy with it. But we're back. We're back on track now. Which is good. Because we got a lot to talk about. And I want to add some people to the show. Even if it's just a phone call. You know what I'm saying? If I can get a video. Because I'm supposed to be getting my other phone. So once I get my other phone. I'll be able to do more. I'll be able to do my Facebook live and that. Hello, this is Keita J Reveals. Yo, what's going on, Keita? This is G. Hello, you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. I'm on the air. I can hear you, yes. And who, <laughs> who, who might this be? Yeah, this is G. Okay, this is G. Hey, G. What's yeah, happening? So, what's up, everybody? Yeah, I'm just calling in to, uh, you know, chime in on the topic. It's a good show. Um, I like everything that you're talking about. Thank you. Um, very interesting stuff. Sugar you know, you got me sexy. wanting to definitely add in <laughs> and add on and Sugar all that. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I was saying earlier, yo, did y'all hear about that um law they just tried to pass or they have passed in Missouri? Um, they're trying to charge kids like, you know, youth in elementary schools and like high schools if they get caught fighting with a felony, you know, and I just think that that's like the new version of like the black codes in twenty seventeen and that's just that's really crazy to me that um you know, that they're proposing these kind of um, laws for kids. Because, I mean, a felony at that age can ruin their life. They're talking about, you know, they'll be able to go to juvenile detentions and work and um, even take away their right to vote before they're even 18, you know, all off this little felony, wow. you know, from fighting. You wow. know, when fighting in school is like a rite of passage. Yeah, we're going to have to look into that. That That's crazy. Did then you it was like you a... have it pulled up now? 
Um, nah, I'm not actually on uh, looking at it or anything like that. But um, a few a few um um websites posted it like vladtv.com and uh you know i saw a few instagram posts and stuff like that um also i saw another post on a sister in, in um in north carolina where they found her um hanging from a uh tree right exactly wow. um lewis the school to the prison pipeline I, I gotta get used to talking on the phone and looking at this thing because it's like a delay but um yeah 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 so but yeah and then in north carolina there was a sister found hanging from a tree limb oh where they gosh. they deemed it suicide and the police you know deemed it a suicide and there's been no um thorough investigation and the media won't really cover it you know it's like a cover-up you know what i mean like we all know this sister's in college she didn't hang herself from a tree but yet they're trying to say it's a suicide and um you know like we know that this is just not true you know what is um i'm looking at a comment though romello he says fighting in school is no longer right of passage too many white boys was getting fucked up exactly yeah they, i mean and then they they look at the our black boys you know i'm black youth the brown youth you know as um as men they look they fear them you know what i mean you know they're not even fully grown you know so that's just another way like they said to um to enslave and you know, it's just crazy, man. We like you said, we gotta come together. We gotta stop um, feeding into all these this um, you know, this yeah. nonsense, this material. Yeah, yeah. The social media is driving us crazy in the wrong direction, you know. But you know, with people like you and me and 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 those of us who are on this call and on the show, you know, we can probably um set a trend to where you know that all this ignorant stuff is no longer trendy anymore and it's more you know the trend is now on a um positive note you know what i mean it's as opposed to um society's regressing and moving backwards and all that kind of stuff but yeah i don't want to just rant on and on and on i said i was just calling for a minute i know you guys have already been off for like some time and you know, you probably want to um, end the show or whatever, you know. Uh, but I'll be definitely looking forward to calling in to the next shows and future shows and maybe even adding on topics and possibly being maybe, you know, a guest host or, you know, who knows, oh, yeah, you know? Definitely. Okay. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Do Good more. to talk to you, Peter. Yeah. Some spiritual people on here um, that can talk about zodiacs and. You know, I know a guy that I look at on YouTube. He's really good with breaking down a bunch of stuff, which is good. Um, so I, if you guys know some people that even if it's business related, you know, we can definitely do that. Because, I mean, like I said, you don't need a whole bunch of microphones to do that. You can get somebody to call in and maybe even fix it up where you can have a dual video and, you know, all that stuff. Which is cool. Yeah, I mean, we got to utilize this technology and, you know, keep it simple at the same time, you know, exactly. so, yeah, exactly. you don't have to overdo it. We don't have to just go, you know, heavy overdo it with all the mics and all the, you know, exactly. I mean, if, if we can afford that, cool, you know, but if not, you know, we can keep it simple, you know. Exactly. Like, like you say, each one teach one definitely have to do that. Yes, still sharp and still, you all. So, you know, on that note, I'm going to um, leave y'all on that with something to think about. And, you know, this definitely, you know, um, sparked my interest. And I enjoyed it very much. So, yeah, okay, I, I look forward to doing this more often. So let me ask you, what do you, what is your take on the oppression of women? Um, The oppression of women? Um, yeah, the topic we were talking about earlier was oppressing women. We feel, I feel like men and women are oppressing oppressing other women nah yeah i think it's just an oppression thing period like um like my man fred hampton said with the black panthers you know from chicago he was killed by the police in his bed but he said i don't care who the oppressor looks like whether he's white yellow chinese black you know black brown man or female gay straight you know young old i don't care who the oppressor is you know anybody that's being oppressed you know they you know, I'm not with it. I'm I'm against it. I'm opposing oppression on all spectrums, whether it's a man oppressing a woman or a woman oppressing a man. It just it doesn't matter who the oppressor is. I'm not in support of any form of oppression. And um, anybody that is being oppressed, I would suggest that you know um, you do all that you can to 
fight that oppression because as long as you accept it, you know, you're going to continue to be oppressed. The only way you can end oppression is by, you know, standing up against it. So, you know, if you see somebody that you know is being oppressed, you know, you and, and they don't have the, like you said, they don't have the, um, the, the, um, the insight to um, realize that they're being oppressed and you might have to um, stick up for them or let them pull them to the side and say, you know, the situation you're in, you're being oppressed by this man or, you know, as a woman, you know, et cetera, et cetera, and try to um, open their eyes and bring some type of awareness to the situation so that, you know, that this, this type of thing can no longer exist. On the planet, like I said, and we can set a trend of ending oppression as opposed to, you know, more and more people learning how to manipulate and become oppressors, you know, because I think that's um, that's probably one of the main problems is, uh, is that people, you know, want to learn how to manipulate the next person in order for their benefit. Wow. And that's just, and that's a part of like the human nature. Like it's taught even like in the Bible, you know, you got Cain versus eight people is jealousy and stuff like that. So you have these demons that people have to learn to either fight against and not succumb to. And a lot of people, they succumb to these type of demons and they become oppressors. You know, a lot of times I pray, I don't, you know, wish harm to no one even the devil i say you know i just hope that he gets a heart kind of like the grinch who stole christmas you know he right. he he gave it back at the end he got a heart you know i just pray that the devil and all these oppressors they just get a heart one day and stop doing this the stuff that they're doing to to hurt people so but yeah oppression is definitely wrong you see the pimping going on like i was here overheard a conversation at the bus stop earlier about um a dude was telling me how, you know, he watches this guy, a young guy, his, he has a kid with a woman, you know, she goes to school and, you know, to work every morning. And the minute she takes off for work, he's got like other girls coming in and out the apartment, you know, and all he does is stay home and watch the baby while she's at making all the money, you know, and he's playing her basically, you know, with other girls and stuff like that. And that's a form of oppression, you know, and guys is getting into that, trying to like, you know, I heard guys in college, you know, I'm gonna break a bitch, you know, and all this kind of stuff, like, which is not, I'm not, I don't mean to laugh, it's not funny, but the term, the way these guys think is funny, you know what I mean? But it's not, at the same time, it's sad, like, you know, it's like, be a man, go and get a job, go and, you know, you're supposed to be, you have a kid, you so that should make you want to say, yo, it's time for me to, you know what I'm saying, man up and do something to take care of these kids, but it's like, on the, he rather do whatever he can to like do as little as possible, and that's that part of oppression and manipulation. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah, no, nah, I don't. I'm not with that shit at all. Like I think that's just that's that's a big sin to me to like try to enslave someone and oppress them. You know, so definitely, definitely wrong. I'm strongly opposed to it. Yeah, so. I appreciate you calling in, G. Well, we had two okay. callers today. That's a wonderful thing. Um, I appreciate everybody that shared it on Twitter. Um, we're going to have more topics. If you guys, we'll be back tomorrow. More topics. Um, tomorrow, I don't know what we're going to talk about. But we're, I'll decide something or somebody can email me. If something's on your mind and you need some, you know, insight on some things, just definitely email existinature at yahoo.com. The link is in the bio. All the links are in the bio, okay? No All doubt. No, <laughs> ENN Media, word up, exist in nature. You know what I'm saying? Yes. We definitely got to get it out there, y'all. Yep, for real. Support, you know, share and add on and spread the word. You know, Keita's got this show, and, you know, we're going to try to get, get behind her and support this and um, spread the word, you know, that we all about positive topics, and we just want to open up the minds of others and the ears and bring awareness and, you know, just change the – change the mood you know it's all about the vibrations we bring so if we bring some good positive vibrations to the world you know we can always overcome this negative energy because nothing that's bad can just last forever so exactly exactly i appreciate that knowledge and um is that look they they look sugar was talking about you your voice <laughs> oh yeah his voice oh thank you i appreciate it. Uh, he he 50 years old sugar <laughs> <laughs> all right so thank you g i appreciate it definitely you guys don't be afraid to call in if you want to add something to it 
I re- she said, how old is he? <laughs> Me, I'm 35. He's 35, sugar. Yeah. 35 yeah. years old. See, there you go, Ziggy. Hey, you guys. Hey, what's happening? So, you know, and we're we going to talk about some gemstones and all that stuff. We definitely going to have it going on over here because some people say, you know, women only have sex to talk about. No, we don't. We got Some of us got more to talk about, but it's just that some people relate more to that because they haven't been opened up to other topics. That's all it is. Each one teach one. You know, we got to open up to other topics. Yeah, you just got to elevate, you know. It's okay to talk up. about little things, you know, um, baby food and stuff like that. But, yeah, it comes a time where you got to start eating, you know, more healthy stuff. You can snack, exactly. you know, change the topic. Like to up. Vegans, you know, some vegan folks on here, you know, that can explain, you know, how they transition. You know, we, we definitely, we, we got to have some folks call in and talk about some things. Because it's not just about me. I want to open it up to other people. So yeah, food for thought, it. definitely. Yeah. You know, you guys calling in, and, and and I appreciate you know you guys supporting you know what I'm doing and everything. So it's gonna be a day. I'm gonna try to make it a daily thing. If I skip a day, you know. Yeah, definitely try to make it a schedule if you can. Like get on like a yeah, find out what your free time. times are and it's gonna be yeah. Eastern time. So eight o'clock Eastern time, you guys. The only way I'm not going to be able to make it is if I have something to do. And I'll probably get on real quick and say, hey, no show today, but tomorrow we'll definitely be at it again. So send me some folks if you guys have some. Send me some names. Send me, you know, if you, I know Demi says she she talks about Demi. So you talk about uh, gemstones and stuff like that, crystals. You know, if you know anybody that want to talk about that kind of stuff, hey, I know a lot of things about it, but hey, I'm open for other people to give their insight on it. So, you know, here we go. Cool. All right, you guys, take care. Y'all have a um, nice night and all that. And, you know, stay positive. Keep your heads up. And I'll see y'all the next time. Okay. Take care. Peace out. Well, there you go. You're a specialist, so we got you. You can help, you know, the gemstones and, uh, you know, fashion. Folks can talk about fashion because, you know, you know, there's different people that can talk about different things. Just because I might do certain things don't mean that I can't open it up for other people to talk about it. Because you'll have a whole new look on things sometimes when other people talk about it, you know. So here we go. I appreciate you guys for tuning in to Key to J Reveal. And um, don't forget, t-shirts on the website, Existing Nature Media. Thank you for sponsoring this. And um, I appreciate you guys. Let, let's let talk about that. Oh, Lord have mercy. You know, we talked about that two days in a row, okay? Two days. <laughs> But I appreciate it, um, y'all. I'm out, so I talk. I'll, I'll talk to y'all later. Hey, I'll be back on in the mo- and tomorrow, maybe like the morning or evening, and talk to y'all again. Okay, because it's not gonna just be about the show. I'ma still get on to talk about stuff. Please, you wasn't here. Go check the replay. Talk to y'all later. <laughs>